Hi, I'm Brian Elliott. Welcome to another edition of Behind the Brand. Today I'm here with best-selling author, fitness guru, and entrepreneur, Shalene Johnson. Shalene, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. It's so ironic, right? Now that you've had the success, you weren't able to get hired. Yeah. Um, talk to the camera and just give a little bit of advice to people who are just getting started. What would you tell them now? You talked a little bit about sticking with something. Uh, I've also heard you say, you know, it's about maybe making something weak, stronger. Yeah. Um, kind of look into the camera and just give a little bit of advice to someone who's just getting started with a new business. What, what tips would you give them? I think, you know, you have to be passionate about something, but not so passionate that you disregard really good advice and logic. You know, I think there's this common theme where you'll hear people saying, never let anyone talk you out of your dreams. And I always think that you need people in your life who will talk logic to you and say, okay, you know, maybe this doesn't make sense. And you still have to decide if it is in fact something you're so passionate about and you can get good at it. Like, does it make good sense? And why is it you want to pursue it? Because I think so many people pursue things simply because it's on their bucket list. And they're like, I'm not giving up. When if you're true to your passion, you can apply it to just about any business. I mean, in just about any industry, you have these core, strong, valuable strengths. And that's what you apply to whatever it is you're passionate about. Whether, and it doesn't matter what you're doing at the time. It works if, you're, if, you, if you know that you're relying on your core strengths. So what do you think some of these key characteristics, traits of a successful entrepreneur are? You have to be, you have to be in your customer's shoes. I think you have to be a member of your tribe. And, you know, people say, well, what's next for you sometimes to me? I say, I don't know, but I'll be helping this person right here on my shoulder. You know, whatever I get through is what I'm going to help people with next. And that's very, very clear to me. How do you get there? So how do you know what they need or what they want? Because I'm in it. I'm in the middle of that struggle. Whatever that struggle is, I'm figuring out. And, you know, sometimes I don't realize it until I'm through it, that I was in the midst of a heavy struggle. Um, but I think that great entrepreneurs... They feel other people's pain and they recognize and identify with it and they want to help other people feel less pain. Is it kind of like takes one to know one? Yes, it's yeah. a great phrase. 